Okay, everyone, it's Elaine. Welcome back to my channel. And yet, I've done it. I have named the she shed. This is it. Yep, it's under here. And I want to tell you a little story. You know how I am. I was over in my house, still had a closet to kind of empty. I repainted the room that the my craft stuff was in, turning it back into a spare bedroom. And I hadn't really touched the closet. I was kind of like out of sight, out of mind. But as we finished painting and the room was empty, there were some things in the room that I wanted to put in the closet, but of course there's no room in there. So <laughs> da, da 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 blah, blah, blah. So anyway, I took some things out of the closet and had to bring them over. Well, one thing that I have is this box of these slates all around my house. Well, in three places around my house, I have these wrought iron stands that go in the ground, and then you change the slate in them. And if anyone's interested, I can always show you my assortment sometime. But through the years, I've purchased them. Now, they're not really that cheap. And I don't know if anyone has ever heard of the Cotton Picking Fair south of Atlanta. Well, that's where I first found them. Hold on a second. got to pick up Sissy. So that's where I first found them. And then those folks were out of West Virginia. I remember that. They would come all the way to Georgia, but they had one heck of a business. I'm telling you, they did great work um, decorating and, you know, painting on the slates. So I think they had like a family emergency or whatever, and there was some time when they couldn't come. But I had gotten their phone number just in case I ever wanted them to make me something before they came that I could just pick it up and they'd be ready for me and not have to, you know, do in that crowd a, a big something. So anyway, then when they weren't coming, I found people over in Mossy Creek, which was, I think, Perry, Georgia, between Perry and Warner Robins, Georgia. And they did okay work, too. So I'm not really quite sure where I got this from. I want to say it was the cotton fair, I mean the cotton picket fair people. Anyway, as I was going through my closet and flipping through them, I found this one. I remember having it made, but didn't really think about it anymore. So I'm going to cut away here for a minute, and I'm going to go put it in the stand, and I'll show you what I have named the she shed. But in the meantime, I want to give a little shout out to my friend Pam, who is um, the paper outpost. I'm not sure if everyone knows, but I am one of the administrators for that Facebook group. And let me tell you, it is a busy, chatty group. And I don't know, I've talked to her for a little while, and some things have happened where I was a little broken hearted about something, da 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 da. Anyway, in the mail one day I get this box and I had ordered something and I thought, hmm, it smells good. Can't imagine they sent me like something wrapped in scented paper or whatever. It was, I forget what it was, but it was nothing crafty. Anyway, Pam had sent me from this bakery, I think this is in Vermont, some gingerbread. I've never had gingerbread in the summer. But gingerbread is pretty good with a cup of coffee or a cold glass of milk. So I did want to say thanks to Pam at this time. I really appreciate it. And um, I appreciate your friendship. And uh, anyhow, so now let's cut away and we'll go outside and I'll show you the name of the she shed. Catch you all later for in a minute. What am I talking about? Be right back. Okay, so I came outside so I could show you what I have now called my she shed. Its official name is the Pine Cone Cabin. I know it's not very artsy, but it definitely fits because you see, I am in the middle of about a bazillion pine trees. So, it's perfect. So at some point in time, it was meant to be. So I appreciate everyone coming by to check me out. And 
I will catch you all down the road. I'll be filming from the Pinecone Cabin. Thanks, everybody. Behave. Bye.